Good. Okay. So, rest assured, I'm not going to ask you to do any science. So, uh, another thing that people have been, am I actually going to have to do something on Esther's? No. So, what I've just done with you is exactly what I asked the students to do. I asked them to get into a power of three, and then I asked, then I put them into their expert groups. So what I then gave them was a copy of the syllabus that they had to cover and you've got a copy of that in front of you that should be relevant to your expertise. So this is, this is just a copy of the syllabus and then I knew that some of the language within the syllabus they would need to understand or some key words need to be brought out so that they could uh, access that syllabus point. So I, I put those key words into questions. And the next thing I ask them to do is in their big groups to discuss what those questions meant. So why don't you have a little go at that? What's the, have a go at the questions and see if you've got a scientist in your group, you'll be all right. Because <laughs> they came from the same point that you did. Alright, it's uh, probably not important that we have a chemistry lesson right now, but the uh, but what was nice is that if, unless you've done triple chemistry recently, that you'd, you'd be coming at the same place that the, the students were coming from, and they didn't really have too much knowledge. They might have a bit of an idea about some of the words, because they're words that come up again and again. All I gave them then was uh, a copy of just the textbook, two pages of the textbook, uh, depending on, on what you've got. Some of you've got one page and some of you've got two. I then asked them again to just have a read of that and then go get back together. Do, can they now answer any of those questions? And within that, I was going around helping them answer the questions, giving them uh, lots of sort of hints and helps. So by the end of it, they could really access the syllabus. So that was the idea. I wanted them just to be able to understand what the syllabus was asking of them. And I gave them the lesson then to really understand it, to feel confident in it, to know what, uh, what, it, what it was that they had to understand. Um, I then asked them to start to create a worksheet. And this worksheet they were going to take back to their power of three, and they were then going to have to ask their two students to carry out that worksheet. And on that worksheet needed to be the syllabus points that was being covered. I asked them to summarise that. Uh, so that it was in their own sort of words, so it was almost like a lesson objective. And then I asked them to put, uh, summarise the key information, any diagrams, and then I asked them to put an activity. Problem with that is I didn't say no word searches, because that was, I felt that wasn't meaty enough. Uh, and so I, that would be a recommendation, is because they will just come back with a load of word searches of the key words, which is better to have some kind of mix and match. I did put that up there, but I would emphasise that, because you might just end up guessing not that brilliant activities. So they spent the whole lesson learning the syllabus, understanding the syllabus points, and then creating the worksheet. And I asked them to go away then and to print off two copies of that worksheet. So at that first lesson, I was going round and I was having a look at the worksheet and helping them create the worksheets. And then when we came back the next lesson, they got back into their power of three, and they were teaching their subject to their other two people. So the people you started off with, you'd be teaching uh, your subject, and then you rotate and then the uh, carboxylic acids would go and then the esters would go if the alcohols went first. And it worked really, really nicely. The girls were really, really positive about it. Uh, they really, it was a real sort, it was an, a nice atmosphere in the room. They were really teaching. And I, I said that no PowerPoint at all. You've got a whiteboard only and a whiteboard pen and your worksheet, no notes. So they really, it's such a change from when I usually say you've got to give a presentation. Because presentation was just read off the slide read yeah. off the slide. Mm -hmm. They fully knew what they had to teach. And because I um, did 
each topic first, I could then walk around, I could listen to what they were saying, I could offer a couple of hints, and I could assess that it was that they were talking about the right things. And it was it was really nice because they were they were properly teaching. You know, she, she, they'd drawn uh, the the functional group uh, on on the board, and they put it down. They'd write on your bit of paper. I'd like you to now recreate that. They were properly teaching, and it was really nice. Um, so. Uh, just uh, there's a couple of images of my class having a jolly good time. There we are, uh, teaching each other, and then attempting to do that worksheet. And again, that was nice because they were uh, asking, you know, is is this right? Can I answer that question? Who is the, who are these people? <laughs> In my triple class. So um, advantages, main key advantages I felt was that the students, and this is their words, not mine, felt super confident in the area that they were teaching. They said, oh yeah, super confident, I, and I, could, I know it, let me teach you. You know, they wanted to, they felt they knew it and they wanted to teach the person about it. They also felt really confident that they could learn stuff for themselves. They didn't need me, I'm obsolete. That they could, when it was factual learning, they could learn it. Um, and they really enjoyed learning from others. They felt more engaged, they felt, you know, more part of the process. Um, and I liked it because I just relaxed, you know, off you go. And, and I can just facilitate your learning, which is, 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 is if you can get it right, is lovely. Um, I will say that the, the negative comment students said was they didn't feel they'd learnt that much from the other people in their triads, in their, their power of three. But I think that was in contrast to what they had learnt themselves. They yeah. really, really got the one they had, and so they didn't feel as confident in the other two. And I, I questioned, well, if it was me teaching it, how would you feel about it? And they said, still feel more confident in the one I know. So I think it was more of a contrast thing. And I, I, I then ended up saying, well, here is the other worksheets for the other two groups. You learned one, you can learn another, another one in exactly the same process. Create a worksheet, deliver it to a friend, deliver it to the dog, just, um, you know, teach it. Uh, and that, that important notion, this idea that we retain 70% of what we teach. So it worked really, really lovely, and I, um, I'm a real advocate of it because it's changed my teaching, and I, I've, I've done it a couple of times now. And, and with, I think, uh, with lots of groups, and I've not tried it with lower school, but something I would like to do, moving away from create a presentation and more to this sort of style. I think really good for subject content, so history, RS, geography, where you've got just facts to learn. Uh, fact learning works brilliantly for. I also thought how-to skills, so if you were teaching drawing in watercolour, I don't know, uh, uh, a skill for making pastry, a skill for doing applique, um, any, or about, about my artist, anything uh, along those lines, or how to uh, do an equation or several ways to carry out an experiment, not sure, but um, I think how-to skills would work for as well, but I really encourage you to have a go because it was, it was really good for my class. Any questions? <laughs> I was just thinking that the, the mixed ability and some of the students are actually quite weak. Um, so when they're in a group of three and they're taking information, you know, from others, they could have got wrong information. They could have got very little information, depending, you know, is as good as the student is able to understand and access them. Yeah, so, so how so, do yeah, you so deal with so I mean I was quite lucky because it was a triple class, yes, so I, I had thought very it was few. Such a yeah, class you're referring so to. very uh, very few weeks, but yes. I did have weak but. students in there, as you know, uh, for that that um, triple class. So I, the Esters is a slightly easy one, so I knew that, so I gave them Esters. Yeah. I also spent more time with them, making sure they understood, mm -hmm. which again was a good part of it because the, the strong ones could go. I yeah, know who the weak ones are in the classroom, yeah. so I helped them understand it. Um, I also, I mean, another thing you could do, not something I did, but if you have got quite a few weak people pairs, so you've got you, six yeah. people, so do six you people allocate, a triad. Did you allocate them in the threes? As so when they're in their group of threes, the students I wanted to do yeah. Esters, I just yeah. went up to them and said, I think you should do Esters. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the yeah. best topic for you. And they, they were, okay, yeah. fine, I'll do Esters, that's fine, I don't mind. Um, yeah. But Those if you if you have odd numbers, or uh, weak and a strong, pair them together and yeah. let them work together. And again, um, the, it just, it, it, um, you know, and I think the power of this really is working alone, so I wouldn't recommend everybody getting pairs, but if you do have a student you worry about. But I, I, I did find with the weaker ones that they really, they felt more confident in it because they had to learn it. They knew they were going to teach it, and they had to learn it enough to create a worksheet, and then they had to, knew they had to deliver it. And they did a better job, I think, because they also had time. And it, it, it wasn't particularly tricky. The words are tricky, but it's just regurgitating information. So, uh, for the vast majority of it. So, you know, they can do that, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Anything else? Mm -hmm.
point from, from, from Sarah, how long did it take the whole process? Two lessons. Two lessons. Two lessons. And then, I mean, they, by the end of lesson one, uh, I felt confident that everyone knew what they were doing in terms of understood the science. Um, and they would just started doing their worksheet and they finished the worksheet at home and they printed it off two copies at home, which becomes quite nice, it's manageable, it's got to come with two copies of my worksheet, so there's no photocopying on my side either. Yeah, good. Did you do any practical work around it? Or? With this stuff? Uh, no, not after. I did give them, uh, so I did give them their other worksheets so to, yeah. to look at, but no, I didn't, I didn't do any practical around it. Okay, that's it. Really. Okay. My session is.